Welcome to Settlers Valley. This is my ZSU zoo slash park. It's set in Sonoma County in California. This here is the tunnel. It doesn't really lead anywhere, but you can use your imagination and say that it leads to a main road. And this is just the exit that goes straight to the zoo. Uh, you would drive past the like mustard flower hills and a flooded marsh, uh, which I think looks pretty cool. And it takes you into the main parking lot. Um, and then there's an overflow parking lot back there. I think the entrance came out pretty cool. Uh, there's like the ticket booth and the gift shop right up at front. I use a lot of blueprints. Now the buildings and stuff are originally made with the flags, they're blueprints, same with like the disabled parking signs, and then the bike racks, which I'm probably going to end up changing a little bit so they can fit more bikes. Uh, and then you just go into the small entrance of the park. I don't have a lot yet, I only have a sheep enclosure, but this is sort of just an update as of, you know, the first couple of days of February. Uh, in here I just have only three uh, Suffolk sheep. Um, I'm hoping that I can get more. I don't know why I only started out with three. I was like, oh, you know, we can be extra poor in this zoo. And then this is the historic house that uh, was built, you know, somewhere in like the late 19th century uh, you have like a little info sign that you can read you know stuff about the house that was also a blueprint and then just a little bit of nature that's surrounding it I'm gonna probably put like I have a fake like sign like this I'll probably put more of those to teach you about you know the plants that would grow naturally in this region like the manzanita and the oak trees and all the little wildflowers and stuff um, obviously these wildflowers would disappear very quickly uh, in real life because, you know, the sheep eat everything. And then this is kind of where I'm planning on having a, you know, th th I don't know exactly which habitat is going to go where, but somewhere around here there's going to be peafowl, turkey, barn owls, uh, and like an armadillo or something like that. So I'll have to draw out the map and see exactly which animal I'm going to put where. Uh, but the entrance plaza is pretty small because it's meant to take you either straight to the historical side of the park or more to the zoo slash research center. And I'm probably going to have more of the botanical gardens go down the middle here. So it's like you're going to have three separate paths. Yes, this one does kind of dead end, but it's such a short walk. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, if anything, I could just build another path around here, but I, I don't think it matters. But essentially, you know, zoo, research center, kind of staff buildings on the outskirts over here. Um, there's also going to be a little exit around this corner once I finish the path. Uh, and then, you know, botanical gardens and such. I'm hoping to make this a really research-focused zoo once I get some more animals in there and, and more botanical gardens because I just like the concept of it. Because I did place some scout cabins for like, you know, a zoo scout sort of thing, you know, summer camp for kids to where you get to learn about animals and nature and stuff. Um, and then the other cabins that I have built are near the old historic firehouse. It's based off the one from Bodie, California, which is, I believe, near Yosemite. And then uh, these two cabins are for, like, staff, essentially, or I guess more of, like, intern or temporary staff that are staying from either far away to do a paid internship, like, you know, just for a semester or a year or something like that. Um, but I think it's just a nice little area. And it would be so cool if there was something like this in real zoos, but I thought it was feasible for mine since we're also a nature park, you know, botanical garden and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for now. I'm going to continue working on it and updating my press room. Um, so I hope you like what I have so far and thanks for tuning in.